Yo, what's good? It's your boy, GMB, right here. And today we're working on a couple cool things. Um, I've been really wanting to try out doing the like bleach tie dye. I'm not really dyeing anything, so I don't think you call it tie dyeing. You think you call it just bleachy? You know, that cool like thrasher stuff everyone's doing and shit like that. So I thought I'd do like maybe like a little time lapse on me working on some shit or something. I don't know. It's been a minute since I've vlogged. We're in 2021. Just got over fucking COVID. A lot of the family has it. You know, running through the motions. So I'm dressed bummy because we went messing with bleach today. So, you know, we're going to get into it. You know, I'm going to see like what's good. Using the new GoPro Hero 9 right here. So, hopefully that works out good. You know, if not, I'll go grab the Max and we'll start over. But yeah, I hope all of you are doing well. I hope your holidays are really good. And your boy about to get into it. So, let's get it. Yo, what's good? It's your boy right here. So, we're gonna be doing a different, couple different things today. So, I, I got some fucking bleach from the dollar store. You know, I figured that shit will work out. Um, on a t-shirt, I'm going to be attempting to brush on the bleach to do... Hey, Ursula. This is my dog, Ursula. My husky. She thinks it's food because it makes a crackling noise like it's a bag. Uh, anyways, so I'm going to be brushing some strokes on the shirt because I want to see the type of effect it's going to make on how the bleach starts to discolor it and all that stuff. And then for the hoodie... I got a cheap spray bottle that I'm just going to spray it on and try to do some effects. Probably crumple it up, stuff like that. And then we'll see how that comes out. So pretty basic, nothing too crazy. I just got these, all the stuff for the Dollar Tree. I mean, it's like, what, five bucks to do some simple bleaching and then we'll see how it does. I was thinking of diluting it to kind of give it some depth, half and half. And then doing a second pass. So doing like one to one really, it's one part water, one part bleach. And then running and doing just full bleach to kind of give like some depth of how strong the discoloration is. We'll see how that turns out. I'm going to do it and test it out and see how I like it. And then, yeah. So uh, let's get it started. All right. So I have the shirt here. Uh, I did put a little bit of bleach and water together in this container. Um, I should probably just... We're just going to start doing some... Oh wow, that's working pretty straight away. Careful with the wrinkles. So I probably highly suggest you iron your shirt first to get it as smooth as possible. Wow, that looks pretty cool. It's a cool little design. I'm just doing like a I do some splats, you know, as an artiste. Cool, I'm gonna flip it around and do the back. Ah, check that out. I hope you can see it pretty good on the cam. I'm gonna lay it down. Hopefully I don't mess anything up by doing this. Maybe some type of insert inside of it, like a big piece of cardboard to keep everything, you know. I definitely like it when it's not a lot of bleach on there. Gives, you can really see the brush strokes. You know, the more this this holds this brush, you know, the more solid the line's gonna be. Like when you're painting, you know, you start running out of paint, you start seeing the brush lines and stuff like that. Spray effect. Now this is straight bleach. I didn't uh, dilute this, 
So I'm kind of hoping it'll give it a little bit more of like a uh, different type of effect. Looks like it just has the one mode, which is like a spray, like a, you know, like a spray bottle. You know, sometimes you twist them and it shoots out straight like a stream. This one doesn't, but that's okay. I kind of like what we got going on here. Boom. So from what I've read, 10 seconds is really all you need. I mean, 10 seconds, 10 minutes is really all you need. And then you can throw it in the washer and start to wash it. Um, this is pretty cool. Okay, I really like how that came out. I'm gonna go ahead and then switch out to the jacket. I'm gonna wipe this down real good and then we'll get going on the second part. All right, I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna dunk it in some fresh water and kind of like wring out all the bleach that's in there, ish. And then I'm gonna throw this in the wash and then dry it and then we'll see how it comes out. But For this, I kind of wanted to do it a little differently. I was So that was one way of doing it, was taking a brush, brushing it on there. I did get the spray bottle out. But for this, I kind of wanted to do what I've seen a lot of people doing, which was like turning it like that to get like different, I don't know, it's like, so it's like more random, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause like everything's scrunched up. Hopefully, let's take a look. I don't know, we're just trying shit out. I'm just gonna take this and just kind of like. Yeah, it's definitely more random. It's kind of a more of an organic type of thing. I really like the way the other one came out, so we're just gonna go ahead and continue to do that. So I'm gonna put like I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to do a couple designs actually with this. I'm gonna like This is coming out pretty fresh. I got to do the other one. Uh, I'll be right back. So I flipped it around, started doing the back a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and kind of do the same thing. And like where you just kind of twist in the middle like that. And then I'm just going to take the brush. I put a little bit more bleach in here. I'm just going to kind of just okay cool not bad pretty cool not bad. This is looking pretty, pretty fire. Definitely, so you want to stretch this stuff out. So, like putting something like an insert inside um, would be ideal. Back looks pretty good. Here's the back of the hoodie. Here's the front of the hoodie. Pretty fire. Really liking 
how this came out. Not bad for a first run, right? All right, let's give it a rinse. I can definitely see the color of the water turning a different kind of like an amber-ish from the bleach and I guess just from the dye coming out of the uh, garment. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw these two garments in the wash, dry them. And then we might do a round two, we might not, and see how light it comes out. And I'll get back to you guys. So that was clean water when I started, fresh water. Uh, I really saw a lot more of the dye come out with the hoodie than the t-shirt, but it's really turned to like an amber color. I just wanted to show you guys what I was talking about. Um, yeah. So that was pretty much the uh, full vlog experience of how I bleached the hoodies and then printed on them and the final outcome. Pretty basic, pretty easy. You can do it. You just got to get the garments, which I go to alldayshirts.com. They're a pretty decent price. Uh, yeah, pretty much. So uh, these are going to be going up on the web store the end of January. Um, same thing, the way the hoodie is, the way the t-shirt is, it's going to be exactly the same, just on whatever your size is in white. And I have another design coming out. I'm doing a teal and pink. I'm part of this giveaway coming up with some people, and then the theme is teal and pink. So I decided to do a cool different um, colorway for that exclusive, which I will have on the store too. Uh, it's going to be pretty fresh. I'm going to try to do a bleaching to it. I want to see how the pink comes out hopefully comes out kind of like clouds or if not maybe like a lighter pink well we'll find out i'm definitely gonna uh, mess with that that's gonna be dope uh thanks for watching if you stick to the end of the video dope you know 2021 trying to get back into it like i said just beat covid uh the family's been dealing with it too and <clears throat> it's pretty we're having a pretty good um a pretty good transition you know what i mean it hasn't been like super harsh on us it's been more of like a mild case thank god so um i'm pretty confident everybody's gonna be okay and for everyone that reached out to me while i was gone missing uh thank you i appreciate it you know sometimes it takes a while before people to notice that you're gone and it feels good to be recognized when people go hey man where you been having and you know so shout out to everybody uh so that's pretty much everything uh yeah, um, on to more vlogs, on to more using the GoPro Hero 9 to get footage. The footage is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way everything came out. Everything was filmed with the GoPro, so, you know, just got to take advantage of that lighting and stuff. But this is your boy, GMB. Stay up and stay fresh.